Okay. In the spirit of giving bad pronunciation guides to cool calc theorems, I'm going to show you Demovras. And when you pronounce Moavras, you pronounce that as Moav, which is a color. What color is Moav? I have no idea. <laughs> this is one of the colors that shows up on paint chips that I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> sure. That's a word that describes a color. Yeah, but thank you. Uh, like vermilion? Yeah, I think it's red. Vermilion is like way more red. Yeah, vermilion's red. I always seem to think it's green. I don't know why. Because, no, because, because, because virgin. No, I'm an idiot. Because virgin <laughs> makes you think of red. Anyway, Moabra? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's Demavras? Demavras is Euler's on steroids. So, okay. first things first, you start with Euler's. Should I write that down? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, you might want to think about that this way. Because I find this thing hard to remember unless I just, yeah. I find that to be a useful thought. Do we have to remember the names of these formulas? That this is the Moivre and Euler's? Uh, only, only in so much that if I ask you to do something with the Moivre's, you recall what that object is. Okay. I don't. I'm not going to ask you like, is this Euler's or Demovras? Right? Like that's not a valid question in my mind. I just want you to know both of them and know that they're kind of related. All right. That's cool, that? So cool. So Demovras is, instead of looking at Euler's, we're going to look at Euler's with an extra power. So we're going to think about, instead of e to the i theta, we're going to think i n theta. n theta. b n theta. OK. And then on the one hand, that's e to the i theta, oh, I need to write this further into the middle of the board. And probably higher. OK. So I'm assuming that you recall Euler's. And now I'm going to think e to the i n theta. And on the one hand, I'm going to think this way. Right, where that's just some stuff that I have in e to the i stuff. And if I do Euler's to that, I should get cosine of n theta plus i sine of n theta. Right? Like that bit is just straight up Euler's. It's just adding in an n variable, which is the So that's just Euler's with n theta equals x or whatever. You guys cool with that? Another option is you could say, but hey, that's e to the i theta raised to the n power. Fair enough. And e to the i theta by Euler's is just cosine theta plus i sine theta. Let me rewrite this like that. All that raised to the n. Cool. So Demovras is actually this part with a big fat equal sign through that your two bits of oil. Like <laughs> yeah. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So what is this good for? You guys remember those double angle identities we spent a little bit going to fetch out of the and universe? Two. If we wanted to go fetch a triple angle identity out of the universe, could we do that? Yeah, would it be annoying? Yeah, yeah maybe. It's not so bad, right? I mean, it might be. What if I wanted a 17 times angle identity? That'd be pretty hard. It would just be basically really annoying, right? Yeah, like, oh. So the cool thing about Demavras is you can use it to get those in a different way, which is sometimes faster. Okay. So, for instance, if n was say three here, right, like a triple angle identity. Then I'd have cosine of 3 theta plus i sine of 3 theta is the same thing as cosine of theta plus i sine of theta cubed. <coughs> you see that? I see. And then I could FOIL this part out, which is cosine cubed of theta 
plus 3 cosine theta times i sine, oops, cosine squared theta times i sine theta plus 3 cosine theta plus, oops, cosine theta times i sine theta squared plus i sine theta cubed. Okay. Now, who's wondering how Joe foils fast? Uh, you guys know where I got the. So I got one cosine cubed, three cosine squareds, and then I turned one of the cosines that I had into an I sine theta, right? Okay. And then here I had a cosine, and then I had two I sine thetas. And then at the end here I had three I sine thetas, right? And then where did I get the one, three, three, one? One, three. You guys don't know this trick, or you all know this trick? Nope. Okay, so the trick that I'm using is Pascal's triangle, oh, okay. I remember that. which looks like, oops, not like that, like this. Oh, you're just adding the pairs. Yeah, so my next row is going to be 1, 5, five 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 5, and then my next row is going to be 1, 6, 6 15, 15, 15, 20, 15, 15 6, 6, 1. And those give me the coefficients for foiling. That's trippy. You can see that? Oh, crap. So if you have a plus b raised to the 17th power, so you'd have you have to go to the 17th, 17th row. row. You go build the 17th row, which is not that hard, right? And then you just pull the coefficients off. And every time you step over, you trade an A for a B. That's super cool. So here you've got five A's, and then you have five B. of four A's and a B. Five of four A's. And then here you have ten of three A's and two B's, and so forth. What? You guys cool with that method? Kind of. That's, that's a that, little that bit wild. Kind of that was that crazy. Well, what this demonstration okay. I mean, is. What do you mean, five with four A's? If you gave a simpler example, I think I'd get it. Okay. So let me finish this thing off, and then I'll show you a couple of Pascal's examples. Okay. So at the end here, what you need to do to get your triple angle identity is collect the bits with an I and the bits without an I. So over there, I have cosine of 3 theta. Does this part have an I? No. No. So then I go over here to this side and I go, okay, cosine three, cosine cubed of theta doesn't have an i. Next one doesn't. The next one. Nope, never mind. Multiple. Does have an i, so I leave that one be. That one does. Ooh. Actually, does it? This okay. thing is. I well, once you square yeah. negative, once you square square negative one, it just. Changes. But it's parentheses, so it's not. This whole thing is i squared times sine squared, correct? Right? Which is negative 1 times sine squared, so that's negative 3 cosine theta times sine squared theta. And so that one doesn't have an i in it. Is that because i has an odd power? I mean, even power, and that means that. Yeah, that's because i has an even power. So negative square root of negative 1 times square root of negative 1, which is. Square root of negative 1 squared, which is negative 4, which is negative 1. Right. So anytime, yeah, you could go through and look for i's to even powers and know those are going to be either positive one or negative one. You see that? Mm -hmm. So at the end here, from my bits without i's, I have cosine of three theta equals cosine cubed of theta minus three cosine theta sine squared theta. So there's the triple angle formula for cosine. So you just collect your cosines. Yep. And then to collect your triple angle formula for sine, you go, OK, this part had an i in it. But why is it minus 3 cosine theta sine squared? Because That's what this part was. I thought it didn't have an i in it. It didn't. I was collecting the things without i's. Negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So to get the, ones, to get the sine one, does that one have an i in it? Yes, so I need to go to the other side and collect all the things with i's in them. So over here I have 3 cosine squared times i sine theta. That's got an i in it. And then I've got i sine, cube, or I sine theta cubed. 
Which is going to have an i left in it because it's an odd power, right? So that guy's negative i sine theta. So I need to collect that one too. Do not cube the sine. You do cube the sine. So what I end up with here is that sine of 3 theta is, from the blue stuff, a 3 cosine squared theta sine theta minus sine cubed theta. And where did the i's go? Yeah, I was really just using the i's as a marker. Right? Like... I was just kind of using them as a tag. Makes sense. Right, so I collected the ones without the eyes, and then I collected the ones with the eyes, and I paired them. Right. So I got the triple angle formula for cosine from the bits without the eyes, and I got the triple angle formula for sine from the bits with the eyes. And that's De And that's De trick, right? So De identity is this thing. And, and then, then kind of the trick of it is using it with n is is knowing how to foil the right hand side out, right? Which can be kind of nasty. And then knowing that you want to collect the bits with the eyes and the bits without the eyes, and that i squared is negative one. Okay, and this will be on the test. Yeah, I think you guys can do that. I mean, finding the cool. finding the this. Uh, yeah. So a problem like this on a triple angle identity. Yeah, so a problem like this would be use Demavras to find the triple angle identity for cosine. Okay. Right. And then you write down this thing with n is 3, and then you go get Pascal's triangle and multiply this out, and then collect the bits without the i's. Now, you, you could use this to find like any, like a, an angle identity. That's yeah, really so if you wanted to find the sevens. Septuple, Will right? this work with like the one seven angle identity? It would if you could figure out how to foil that part out on the other which side. Which technically would be possible. Uh, which you one can certainly, power? yeah, you can certainly hand, take a good crack at. The seventh power? No, like one seven. One seven. So one over one, seven. Yeah. So that would yeah. be this. That would be the. Can seven you three. figure out what the what the uh, identity is for cosine of one seven theta? Yeah, like you could you could do this to come up with the half angle identities instead of the double angle identities, mm -hmm. or the seventh angle identities instead of the septuple angle identities. It'd be a little bit weird, but yeah, there's a way to do that. You'd end up with a one seventh over here, so you'd want to raise both sides to the seventh power, and then boil that side instead of this one, and fiddle around with it a little bit. But you could do that. It's the same spirit. At least. Same that spirit. is not a that is not a question I'm going to ask for the test. Which means it's very nice. <laughs> no, it just means it's more fun.